Hi, what are the nighttime seizures and how they are different than other types of seizures and how can we treat them and detect them? Well, there are sometimes seizures can happen in multiple different times of the day and night, but there are some types of seizures that seems to happen only during the nighttime. This type of seizures is called nocturnal seizures, means that are seizures happening during the nighttime. So th this type of seizure is interesting. And for some reason, when the brain goes to sleep, and then the, all the process of the brain calm down, then the seizure focus can wake up and cause seizures to happen. Sometimes people can start their seizures by having them only at night, and uh, the chances of them continuing to happen at night is very high. It can reach up to 70% that people will continue to have only nighttime seizures. And it can happen that seizures with time can get worse and get more frequent and start happening during the daytime and wakefulness. What causes the nighttime seizures? So it is common for nighttime seizures to be caused and originated from the frontal lobe because the frontal lobe is connected very highly with the other parts of the brain during the sleep between the uh, deep areas of the brain and the frontal lobe gets very active during sleep and the seizure focus and the seizure electricity will sneak in that area and that connection and cause seizures during the night. Usually nighttime seizures and frontal lobe seizures are very bizarre and patients will wake up during the night, will be confused, screaming, they can flip, do bicycling movements and uh, even like crawl out of the bed or like flip inside out, it's like really very bizarre. I have a patient that she wakes up in the middle of the night and she will crawl all the way to the kitchen while having a seizure and we recorded all of those seizures live <laughs> on camera so and and some patients they have only 100% seizures only happens during the night and this can be the case and never have any seizures during wakefulness so the most common is frontal lobe seizures and frontal lobe epilepsy and even some of it is genetic it's called autosomal dominant frontal lobe epilepsy which is frontal lobe epilepsy that runs in families and like multiple patients in the same family will have this condition. Other types of seizures and epilepsy can happen during the night like temporal lobe epilepsy and other uh, epilepsy syndromes. And in children, sometimes they have only nocturnal seizures, which is called benign Rolandic epilepsy. And this type of seizures, it happens in the Rolandic area where the movements and the face movements are. So the child will wake up, typically will go to the, their parents, will be crying, will be drooling, will not be able to speak. And this type of seizures can happen, but usually the seizures are rare and they are responding to treatment and not even needing treatment in some patients. So those are the common types of uh, seizures. And what is the treatment of nocturnal seizures and nighttime seizures? Well, the treatment is the same as any type of seizures. We give anti-seizure medications and it will respond in about 50 to 70% of the time to seizure medications and that would be a great achievement. And if the seizures continue to happen despite being on multiple medications, then we think about other treatments and and it will be likely surgical treatments. And sometimes there is a scar or cells do not form correctly in the frontal lobe or in the brain that we can uh, localize and take it out surgically safely and cure the seizures. Or sometimes we uh, resort to devices that we can do such implanting uh, uh, devices in the head or in the neck that can be done in refractory cases and refractory epilepsy. And we talked about this in a different video. And as you can see, there are different types of seizures and epilepsy. And to learn all the different types of seizures and epilepsy, you need to see this video that I explained all different types of seizures and epilepsy and stay healthy and see you in the next one.